Hey everybody, what's up? This is John with BeSuperfly.com coming at you today with a tutorial on gradients and how I use them in uh, over some of the pictures that uh, we have. Uh, for example, this is the Josephine theme here. We'll be working on this in this short tutorial. I'll also be uh, doing a increase the uh, gradient opacity on hover. So I'll be showing how to do that. Um, but our starting point is just going to be um, no gradient at all with the photo. So if you Google CSS gradient generators, uh, a ton are going to come up. Um, I like the CSS Matic one. Uh, sometimes I use this one. You can have color stops in there. Uh, all kinds of options. But back in the day, I uh, found out about this app a few years back from, I believe, CSS Tricks, Chris Coyer. Uh, it's five bucks on the App Store. And... Um, I will go ahead and demo it a bit and show you how to use it. So this is what the uh, the app is, and it's for the Mac. Um, so if you're using a, a PC, um, the either the website will work, the CSS Matic website, or I'm sure there's another gradient app. Um, however you get the code is fine, but what I'm going to show you in Divi is how to blend it in and out um, of, of the designs on Hover. So it's pretty easy. Um, I can click here and choose a new color. I can change the opacity of that color. Um, I can use this magnifying glass to pick a color if I want to. Uh, instead, I could do that. Um, I can switch the colors here, switch the orders. I can change the direction of my gradient here. I can switch to a radial gradient if I'd like. And again, you know, reverse these colors and pick different points for them. I'm going to stick with this one right here. There are some other options down here, RGB hex, HSL, and then here we have uh, some settings for the app that you can choose how to get your code values. You can also set the fallback color and say, choosing the left color here, or you could say the average value between the, the two colors. Um, I usually leave it on left color. And then here's a preview of what the code looks like. And then when you're all done, you can copy the code. So now that I have that code copied, I'm going to go ahead and... First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and replace that background image with our, with our code in the main element here. I'll paste it in. And you'll see what it does is it gives you that background fallback, which is the left color. So that'll be this one here, or you could do the average. Average might be kind of a cool way to do it. And then it gives you the code with the different browser prefixes, which you might not even need anymore. Update. All right, great. So that's the easy part. Um, Next, I'm going to show you how we can use that same background color or background image and have the gradient be on top of it. So I'm going to choose this image again. And then, so this is background image choosing this uh, image here. If I save this right now, which I will, but you'll see that the gradients are all background image too. So um, it's going to pick what background image it's going to honor and I'm guessing it's probably going to honor the image. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and inspect this. And go ahead and grab this section. There we go. And you'll see here's our background image. And here's all these other background images with the colors. If I uncheck this guy, you'll see that our gradient's there, but our image is covering it. So a good way around this Let me go ahead and go to the CSS and go ahead and remove this. A good way around this is to use the before class here. And I've done a tutorial before on B Superfly on how to create color overlays for Divi sections. And basically you're putting in um, you're putting in code into the header area. And you have to set, you know, empty content, display it to block, height 100 percent width 100 percent and you 
uh, put in the position here, and then you set your background color. So we're basically going to use this exact same technique, but instead of background color, we're going to be setting the background gradient. And first, before I do that, I'm going to take this gradient and I'm going to make it like 70%. And then I'm going to copy that code, but you can see it adds in the 70% here after each color, the RGBA. 69, uh, 70, I'd probably change that one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Go ahead and get rid of that there. And I'm going to go into brackets here. And I've already got this ready to go, but I'm going to go ahead and... So you're going to want to grab this code here, this content display height position and width, um, you're going to want to grab that from this tutorial. And I'll also provide the, the CSS file, so you'll have this too. And then underneath this, I'm going to go ahead and paste um, the code I got from the Gradient app. And you'll see since, it's, since you set an alpha value here, it knows that you probably don't want a solid background color. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm a perfectionist, so I'm going to take this width and uh, put it right before the height. There we go. All right, and also as a perfectionist, I'm using brackets for a code editor, which is free for Mac and PC, or you can get atom.io, A-T-O-M. But in either one of these, you can have multiple cursors. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, and I'm going to go ahead and command on the Mac, click after each nine, because I don't want I want them both to be 70. It probably doesn't matter, but I want them both to be 70 percent. There we go. So now I'm going to copy all of this right up to here. Copy that. I'm going to paste it in the before CSS right here. Go ahead and save that. Update my page. Sweet. And so normally we would stop right here, and that's kind of where I stopped on this overlay one too. But now I'm going to show you how we can fade this in and out. And this would also work for a solid color. Um, so I'll show that at the end. I'll just grab a background color and show that. So basically, uh, we could try to set, you know, my first thought was to go in and have uh, Try to try to set the values for the background image, the gradient values, to a hundred percent on hover or one. Um, but you can you can't transition a background image; um, it would just go sharp. And I'll I'll demonstrate it. I'll, I'll actually demonstrate it. Um, so you'll notice that in my section here, I've given it a class of gradient tutorial. Um, so at first I thought. I would go to my deal here, and let's say we want these to be on hover. Let's. Oops, I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do that. Let me. Well, I guess there we go. All right. Let's say on hover, I want it to be ninety-five percent, and I'll set this one to ninety-five percent too. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Um, I'm just going to mix some room down here. So I thought I could say, here's the class I gave my section. Great tutorial. Um, on hover, when I hover over that section, on the before, go ahead and knock those backgrounds up to 95%. And again, since I'm a perfectionist, it did 94 so I'm going to go ahead and command click and change these to 95. Although you could leave them at 94, but let's just change them at 95. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that into the page CSS. Um, if this was actual site, I'd either paste it in the Divi theme options CSS or my child theme CSS. All right, so I'll refresh. And then on hover, my gradient should get much darker. And it does, but it's immediate. Like it's, it's there's no trans smooth transition. 
So usually what you would do, because like on these other things, there's that smooth fade in. Or up here in the menu, I, the reviews fades in and out on the opacity. It's not just sharp immediate like this. So normally what you would do is you would go in and you would say, okay, um, on the, uh, you would add, oh, some code like this right here. You would add this code to the, uh, to the section, the, the before, and that would normally fix it. But So I'll go ahead and try to add that. But it won't because background images, you could have two totally different background images, and it's just not made to fade between those two. But I'll go ahead and put this code in at the very bottom. Like if these weren't background images, if they were background colors, then it would work. It would just, uh, it would say, hey, I'm going to fade in from 70% to 95. But it's, it's not going to because it's a background. It's a background image. Maybe someday they'll let that happen or they'll let you use background color for the gradients. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that because that's not doing anything for us, this transition. So then what I thought about was, okay, well, um, maybe, let me go ahead and get rid of this here. Then I thought, okay, how about I have the I, how about I have the opacity be zero or whatever, 0.8 or whatnot, and then change the opacity on, on hover. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn these all the way up to 100 percent. I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to go to I'm going to go to my section here, and in the before area here, I'm going to get rid of the, the background image code here at the bottom, and just have this solid part. So at the end of the day, you'll end up with, uh, I'll put that down here, I'll put, uh, I'll put this code down here, and I'll say, do fade gradient put this code in the before area of the section or just before area that's fine because you might use this on a row too I'll go ahead and put that in here and I'll say area on this one okay so if you want if you just want the opacity one this is kind of what you would put in the before area over the image. If you want to fade it, set it a solid color. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Boom, solid color. Update. And as you can imagine, when I refresh, it's just going to be a solid gradient over the image. But what we're also going to do is I'm going to set this at, let's say I want to set it at um, let's say 0.7 so 0 0.7 is what I want to start with so I'm going to go ahead and grab this again even though we just did this go to my before section clear it all out paste it in. We now have this opacity there. Update. Great. So far, so good. So now on hover, I want to tell it to let me go. Oops. I want to tell it to go to ninety-five percent. And so that's where I'm going to have this right here. And actually, I'm going. To, I don't need this. So now what I'm going to say is gradient tutorial on hover, go to the before section, turn the opacity up to 95%. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go to the, the custom CSS and just paste that one rule in there. Save it. Update. All 
All right, so it's doing it, but we had the same problem as before. But now, since we're using opacity, we're, we're, we're uh, changing the value of opacity, we're able to take this code, the transition code, copy, and I'm actually going to take that, put that down here at the very end. And I'm a perfectionist, so I'm going to move this over like that. And so basically, this is, this is saying, hey, any effect that can be transitioned on the CSS, transition it. And opacity is one of those. So I'm going to copy all of this. This is my final code for the before section. Clear all this out. Paste all that in. All right, so there it is. I hover over it and it fades in to my gradient. So then what you could do is you can go to your before section and just mess around with values. So maybe instead of opacity 0.7, maybe you start at zero. So then it's totally just the regular photo, but then when I go to click this button, it, it goes to the gradient overlay. And then I said I would show how to do it with just the background color. Um, I could copy this guy, and instead of having all of the gradient back there, So here we go, background color, background image, all of this up until the transition. Yep, right there. Paste in my background color. We'll just say, I'll just do black, why not? Zero, zero, zero. Oh, uh, well, actually I can just go, there we go. Making it harder than it needs to be. Crazy, that's too dark. Let's do, uh, let's do 75% on hover. There we go. So what you could do is you could set, you know, and then I can hover over and, and click my button. You could make a class for that hover. Oh, oh yeah, or I could say, you know, I could make a class for this and set, you know, set any image that has gradient tutorial before. You could take all this and put it up in here. And then any image that you, any section that you gave the gradient tutorial to, it would it would put a, you know, a clear black and on hover it would go to 75 or in this case not you would change that to 75. And it would do that or with the with the uh the other example of the uh the gradient so yeah, or I could start. I could start at a uh, you know, fifty percent, and make that go to you know point five maybe. So that way it's just a subtle. I can still read the text because a little hard to read the text there. Um, so if I do fifty percent off the bat, and then on hover, it just gets a little darker or, you know, grays, like a dark blue-gray looks works really well for this. So, yeah, that is how you um, do fade-in color and fade-in gradients on sections. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out besuperfly.com for premium child themes, layouts, and plugins, and our membership program where you can save 25% off and get exclusive free Divi resources each month. Thanks, all. Stay fly.